Alright, let's do these questions. Hi, my name's Brian. I'm from Maryland. I'm either gonna do economics or statistics at Harvard, and I'm also class of 2020, and I play piano. Tell me about the last time you felt awkward. Um, answering these questions. <laughs> So, uh, my mom, especially, when she moved here to America, um, she became a statistician and she was, like, really happy with her life. My mom, uh, told me that happiness is more important than money, which I feel is very true, actually. Um, so I've definitely gone against the whole, you know, Goldman Sachs, like, vibe here at Harvard, just because she's really instilled that and me. One event stands out was Housing Day. You know, Housing Day was just really fun. Uh, it was really awesome to root for something. I mean, Harvard, Yale, we had something to root for, but then we lost, so that was like kind of bad. But like Housing Day, um, they actually came up to our door and they're like, "Foho, foho," and we did not let them in because um, we were all like. I don't. I did not think that was real. But then, luckily, it wasn't real because then they were like, "Just kidding, you got Kirkland." So then, that was a really. It was a really fun day for all of us. We were really excited about that. Um, like in our group chats, we just roasted everyone else who like got Adams or like Cavett, and we were like, I mean, it was just. It was really great to have that sense of pride for something that you're a part of. Well, life at Harvard for sure is very different. Um, there's a lot of work, a lot of keeping on top of everything, which is definitely different from my attitude in high school, unfortunately. Um, I think it was just a process of being true to who you are instead of trying to follow some sort of Harvard, Harvardian uh, path. Well, just grade-wise, one of the biggest pet peeves I had was how we couldn't check our grades till the end of the semester. So I was, like, pretty annoyed at that. Um, that's a very small thing. Um, <laughs> I think the people here are very different from the people back home. Um, they're a lot more motivated, a lot more ambitious, a lot more determined to do what they want to do. And that's very respectable and definitely motivated me, to to follow my own passions. And... Being able to adapt to wherever you are is a big thing, I think. I'm going to Australia for a club. I'm really excited for that. It'll be really fun. I'm also uh, going to California in June to see a few friends, and I'm really excited about that, too. I like traveling. <laughs> I definitely did not feel at home the first couple weeks of school, just because... Well, first of all, I didn't go to any free orientation, so I really didn't know many people. But then after, like, finding people who you really connect with, and, um... I think finding a lot of people who you like, who are chill, I think the biggest factor is chillness. <laughs> and finding people who are chill, who, um... are, like, quirky in a way that, you know, they're interesting, um... being able to connect with people is really important, and... Yeah, I think I think I've found my home at Harvard. I don't know. We'll see in one year and we'll see if you know, I'll have an even more home at Harvard. Um, I regret not taking gap year because um I really want to find out what I like to do. I mean, I have a lot of interests and passions. Um but I really wish I could, you know, take a year off before college to really hone in on what I really want to do and what I really like. So I was actually going to be pre-med before coming to college, and then I just randomly switched to Eck. And I don't know if that was the best choice. We'll see. Uh, but I think taking a gap year to really f discover 
what you want to do with your life is important. Um, but I'm managing to do that as a freshman. It's just harder to do it while you're in college versus before college, you know what I mean? What would you have done during your gap year? Probably definitely traveled. I don't know. I really just wish Harvard were definitely less focused on your future and more on the present. I mean, it's important to have a good balance of future and present, but I wish Harvard put more emphasis on enjoying the present. I mean, because we're all here, which means that we all, like, probably have goals and, you know, we probably are going to be happy in life. And I think it's important for Harvard to realize that and not sort of baby us in that aspect, but put, you know, more emphasis on having fun over these four years. Yes, I've gotten a glimpse of how much some people really care for other people and how they really want to make the world a better place, which I think is something that is hard to find. Um, and especially my school is very, like, we were very active about these things, but no one really, you know, did much about it. Here, seeing all these people who are actively trying to improve the community around them. I sound like Dean Carada. Um, I don't know, but it was just really, really touching to see that and gave me a lot of hope for the world. That was too soft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, that's okay. the point, Ryan! Is this awkward, me sitting like this? Yeah, a little bit. So, where, how should I sit? Oh, I, I just mean with the music stand in between. Oh. Your <laughs> but I mean, you can if you want. Uh, 22. The seven. Twenty? <laughs> no, no, seven. Seven? Yeah. Twenty-seven? No, no, just seven. Wait. Is this going... Is everyone in the public going to see this? It's important to care for other people. Mm-hmm. Are you able to cut videos? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> I like this project. I want to answer all of the questions.